Hey guys, welcome back to DX14 Studios. I know it's been a little while, but um, uh, we have a mock. I know. It's been a while. But um, uh, no second um, uh, stop motion coming. One a month. Sorry guys, 12 episodes per season. Yeah. So. Um, so basically, we have a lot of stuff to do. We're going to try and... Don't expect, like, a s specific time of the month, because it's going to be different probably for every month, okay? So, um, yeah. We're going to try and do more mocks, just to level it out a bit. You know, try and not get guys to be bored. Um, so we're going to explain the story about the mock now. So, this group of survivors, they were in Philadelphia, they manned the wall that you saw in the, um, stop Second motion. Mock. Second mock, yeah. yeah. These are those guys, but the wall got breached, unfortunately, when they were attacked by a gang of angry, evil bikers, and, uh, those bikers are still out there, so maybe you'll see them in the next mock or something, I don't know. But, um, uh, so these guys moved to Pittsburgh, they built all these buildings because there was a bunch of building materials in this huge empty shipping yard. So they built it up, um, they brought the communications trailer with them, the command trailer, because that building back there, that, that is a trailer. Just accept it, it's a trailer. And, um, they use, so they have a couple of new guys that they met up with and who are now helping them. Um, so basically, the zombies, how they're getting in, they haven't breached the main wall. They're probably not going to breach the main wall, just saying. But, somebody snip, snip, snipped the wire fences that they had around the base. And basically, you know, they're able to get in through that way. So, we're going to explain each part of the mock now. Alright, so here's the main wall, and there's just like, um, like a good amount of zombies just like piling themselves up right here. Um, a couple of me, uh, there's a couple people focusing on the zombies outside, and then others focusing on the zombies inside. And Carl, would you like to explain this? Zombie? This monstrosity is a, an irradiated zombie. So it's. And in this, zombies can rot pretty quickly, like within, I guess, two three, weeks. Two weeks, two, actually. Two, three two, weeks, something like that. Two, three weeks. They're going to be rotted to the bone and can't really... Actually, do you want to say that? What? Two, three weeks, they rot. No, we'll say, we'll say a month. We'll say one month. In about a month. But the thing is, the infection spreads so rapidly. Now, these things, you don't know a lot about. Um, it takes about a month for these zombies to rot out, but you simply can't wait it out because these zombies are like World War Z speed, you know? Well, actually, they're about as fast as a human and about as strong as a human. So, but they're not very smart. It takes them a couple of times to get onto a train. Um, now, this zombie, somehow, they're very rare, these irradiated mutant zombies. But they're even faster and stronger than a human. And they can absorb more punishment. As you can see, this guy's probably shooting him in the head a couple of times, but he's not going down that easy. So, yeah. Um, Over here we have a regular survivor with a pistol. And mine, and 11. Um, this Merc that Crow has. Yeah, he's one of the... He stays with them. He's not just a hired merc, though. Yeah. He's a former merc. Um, just another... One, one of our only female characters. Well, just, one of the few, yeah. Yeah. Um, just shooting down at the zombies down there. Over here you have... Um, a... He was a fireman before the outbreak. And... Now this is a survivor just focusing on the zombies out front. A just sniper. Yeah. Another one of our only female characters. We have like three of them. Yeah. Some, some, something like that. Um. 
Who is this guy? I don't have a name for him yet, but he's a merc. He's a former merc. Uh, he fights. He helps them. Um, you know. We'll come out with the the Lord Day later today. Yes, we'll have to finally do that. Yeah, so you guys know everything. <clears throat> um, him right here, just a survivor. He was down. Um, whoops. He was just down here, shooting, like covering these guys because they're just literally about to get mauled to death. They won't. Hopefully. Yeah, so he's just right there shooting them, or trying to shoot them. Um, another f um, former fireman, just like running away from like, he, he has like two zombies on him, like right on his tail. Another survivor right there, he's just running away too. Um, him right here on the back, this guy. Isn't he a fireman? No, I don't... I don't call him a fireman. I think he's a fireman vest, but I don't say that he is. But he was running. He hopped like on like the um, front bumper of that car and jumped up here before he could get like a bit from that zombie right there. Back here is where what on the one entrance. of the wired fence was that um, somebody cut, and this is like the main point where they're like pouring in from. Um, right there. It's Carl's figure crazy. He is another merc. He's just like covering the areas. Yeah. And stuff. Um, right here is just a gunner. Um, he's just covering more people. Right there is our third and final female character running away from this zombie just with like an aluminum baseball bat. Um, I don't know why she doesn't have a gun. Shit. Just move it over. Now, here's a guy right here. He's also Carl's. He's a, he's a former police officer. He was also a Marine. We call him Warchester. He's just gunning people down. Yeah. Well, he's gunning zombies down, not people. Um, over here on this. This is Blake. Um, he is a former lawyer but eventually he became a badass so yeah he he's covering too he's their second entry point um through this little alley next to the um truck he is a another, badass yeah he has um citizen's brick torso and um pants but he's a former Marine. They wanted, They walked from Kansas City to Pittsburgh. Um, he just has like the thumper gun or the, the blooper. And, and the... Uh, it's like the M16 with the attachment shotgun, something like that. Yeah, the close quarters. Yeah. Um, here's the guy who wandered with them. He also has citizen's brick, torso, and pants. But he's like, just has the AK APOC and just sawed off double barrel shotgun. He's like hopped up on the little, the camper. Trailer, yeah. Yeah. And him right here, he's the owner of the, um, trailer. He just has like the bear 50 cal. We call it the bear 50 cal, but... Yeah. The brick arms term is HCRS, high caliber, wait, no, it's the HCSR, high caliber sniper rifle. Yeah. Um, this guy sniping over here is also Carl's figure. What is he? He is, um, he's another former merc. He's helping them out. He's the sniper. Yeah. He's just going like, these noobs don't even know what hit them. Um, they're just a bunch of buildings. There's not that many things inside of them. Like, here's a garage for two cars. But, like, those buildings, they will have a purpose. Eventually. Sooner or later, yeah. In including, like, this and this. Yeah, they're, like, like, defensive storage or something. Yeah, like, this is a, right here, it's also a garage. But this is, like, a little bank type stuff. Has. Oh, uh, yeah. She's dead. Yeah. She's definitely dead from the fall. Um, just another truck. Yeah, that one's probably the pride and joy. Yeah, we made this from scratch. From scratch. Some of these vehicles, yeah, like that's another scratch vehicle. Oh, yeah, we made that. 
And then the vehicle here. Yeah, I'll pull that out. That's another vehicle made from scratch. Yeah. Love these things. These things are like awesome. Um, here's like, the van. It, it the van was a set with that van and this camper, basically. Back here's just communications. I'm pretty sure you guys saw that already. Yeah, oh, the wait. guy's shooting out the door. Yeah, there's that guy. Just, yeah, me... He's like getting ready. Like if any zombies try and get in here, I'm gonna shoot them. Yeah, he just has an M9. Um, that's pretty much it for the mock. Yeah, I'll go with them over here a little bit. They're just like some useless Basic. supplies type, like a and toilet. And they got a toilet. Well, you gotta have a toilet, man. Yeah. They like probably that. they probably dug a hole real fucking deep. To, you know, just to drop to go to the bathroom. Um They probably have toilets in a couple of these buildings, I bet though. Yeah. And there's just the little bank type stuff to keep their money and shit. Um that's probably gonna wrap it up for this mock. Um please rate, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for more content.